Hello everyone, welcome. I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Today we're going to do a huge challenge for me. It was by using only five pencils um, to create this page. So, hello mom, hello Paula, hi Helen, hi Ria, welcome. But I must admit that by using five pencils and mixing them on the page, you get so many different tones, which was really interesting. While doing this, I realized that um, you can actually achieve quite a lot of shades of these colors by just using them. Hi Sherry, welcome. So first of all, by using five pencils, there's um, challenges that you or uh, methods that you can use that you can improve the image um, that you want to achieve. So by playing with light, and putting her in a setting. So because I've chosen these warmer colors, I've decided on um, using almost like a sunset. So then you can play with a warmer skin tone on the skin. So that's why um, these colors work in this specific um, background and image that I've, that I've done. So Let's start. So the image is available from my Etsy store. Um, it is part of Color My Dreams Faces 6 and the page is called Charmaine, which is also the models. But the pencils that, I've, that I'm using tonight is in the description. So if you want to um, take your pencils out. You can color along if you'd like to, but you please just let me know so that I know how fast or how slow I must go if you are joining me in this coloring. Hi Rain, welcome. So first of all, I want to start with my lightest pencil first because you don't want to lose your highlights and some of the sections you would like to be as light as possible for to, so that you can still create the light and shadows of the sunset itself. So a first uh, pencil I'm going to use is my eggshell and it is PC140. So first I'm going to start here on the forehead where the light will catch and this is a medium to hard pressure and now I'm just going to shade it in toward, uh, into the forehead with a light hand. Um, Sherry, in this particular uh, image or this tutorial, I will we'll only be using the five pencils 
so that I can show you that uh, with a limited palette you can still achieve um, the shadings on the face. On the nose bridge, medium to light pressure and then on the edge a little bit lighter. Or a little bit harder so that it will become lighter. The tip of the nose Hi Sonia, welcome. With a light hand around the nostril and then the upper lip. Then the edge of the lips. The bottom lip. And then the chin. And then the jawline. And then the neck. Okay, so that is where the sunlight will catch the face. But now you still need to shade the shape um, lights and shadows to still create the shape of the face. So now I'm with a light hand doing all of these highlights I'm also doing the lightest part of the eye and this is with a medium to hard pressure because you don't want to lose the details of the eye. Hi 64, welcome. Now the bottom of the color section of the iris, I'm just going to with a light hand lighten slightly because when we add the next color, it will be the lighter part of the eye. On the cheekbone,
and then this bottom section of the jaw with a light hand and then a little bit harder pressure on the chin. Then the light section here in the corner of the mouth Then on the upper lip, a light hand, I'm just highlighting this section here. extending this highlighted area but with a very light hand and extending this one with a very light hand and around the nostril and softly on the tip of the nose. Extending this highlight. So the next color I'm going to use is Goldenrod, PC1034. So now we're going to start to play with our mid-tones. So with a light hand, I'm going over the section that I've just highlighted with a light hand. And now I'm using a little bit more pressure on the shadow side. And you'll see how the colors will change as soon as you go over the eggshell. It lightens the goldenrod much more. Hi Amazon Tammy, how are you? Haven't seen you for a while. Welcome. Then on the nose bridge.
I just want to extend with the eggshell over this section with a light hand then back to golden rod and this is a medium pressure now You can go around the fly off little hairs or you can just go over it and add them in later. It's really up to you. Now I'm sha shaping the with the sh shadow areas, the eyelid. And then going down with the bottom section of its uh, the eye bag at the bottom of the eye. And shade it light with a light hand into the eggshell section. Oh, that's awesome, uh, Amazon Tammy. Now I'm going to darken the nostril. And you'll see there's certain areas that I cover the eggshell, even though we added it, we cover it because it is still in the in the shadow side of the um, image, but you still need a little bit of light. Just taking my eggshell again and just with a light hand add a little bit of lightness on this section of the nose and then back to golden mud and go over it. then here in the mouth corner onto the upper lip and 
cover that section. And just lighten it, otherwise it will look like she has a moustache. Now I'm going over the eggshell in this section, move over onto the cheekbone, so you just have to keep the shape in mind what you're coloring to keep it all soft and to highlight the parts that stands out and darken the part that moves in so the cheekbone up and then down And the reason why I'm doing the golden rod over all of this is because I want the uh, yellow warmth to be part of the dark brown that I have. Because I have the espresso for the darkest shadow here. So you need that warmth to lighten the color. On this section, I've just gone over the whole area with the golden rod. And now moving up towards the lip or the upper part of the chin towards the bottom lip. And now I'm going to add some golden rod here, even though we're going to do the lips in red. and then cover the neck as well Hi Bridget, welcome Now I'm going to take a little bit more of the eggshell and soften some of the highlights. So I'm softening the golden rod that's in the highlighted areas. I'm blending it into the golden rod.
Next color we will be using, oh, let me just blend that a little bit, that's a bit harsh. Next color is pumpkin orange, PC1032. So now the pumpkin orange is really orangey. But as soon as you add the, the dark brown, it becomes more subdued. So we first need to add all our orange with a light hand. And I'm accentuating the shadow areas. Hi, Jasmine. This is Fabriano toned clay paper. It's in the description and the five pencils I'm using is also in the description. Hi Della, welcome. Now we're darkening the shadows before we start mixing all the colors. You will start to see the colors mixing and giving different tones because we are applying them over each other.
Oh, awesome, Helen. I can't wait to see. Jasmine, the Strathmore toned grey is perfect. That is my favourite paper to use. And I, I normally use the um, toned grey paper for my images, but we just can't get um, toned grey at the in South Africa at the moment. So that's the only reason why I'm using the toned clay Fabriano at the moment. Next, I'm going to start putting some color onto the iris. We will be doing a little bit more detail a little later. Yes, we get so used to using so many colours that it was a real challenge just doing five colours. But it was great fun. You must all come and join us in Colour My Dreams um, event for the five colour challenge. It's a limited palette, five colour challenge. Uh, my next colour is Espresso. The Color My Dreams Facebook group. Espresso is one zero double nine. Oh yes, Sherry, it was really bad to keep myself away from the box. I'm just going to turn the page so that I can um, color this section with the espresso. I don't want my hand to be in the way. Hi Lizzie. Welcome. I'm just going to give the eye a little bit more detail because I don't want to lose it because we are going with really dark colors.
Now I'm doing the corner of the eye with the espresso. Going around the iris with the espresso. then on the bottom eyelid. Now I'm back to the cheek, bone, shadow area. Oh, Lizzie, I hope she's okay. And you'll see it will look really grey and muddy at the moment, but the colours will, will that we will add with the next layers will will um, sort that out. And in the nostril, I'm adding some espresso. So the espresso is so dark that it looks almost black. Now I'm going to take my eggshell and go over this area again. And then the golden rod. And now you'll see that the golden rod will, over the eggshell, it will look almost more yellow. Like a light to shade of yellow. I'm just taking the eggshell again and lighten the area. Now I'm taking the golden rod again. And go over the forehead. All the colors that we have there. Almost like blending it all in. And bringing it slightly over to get your shaping of the forehead. And next, the pumpkin orange. Thank you, Lizzie.
and bring this shadow in. So now I'm going over the golden rod that we've just added onto the eggshell that we've just added. Bridget, it was really hard for me to only use five pencils. This is the golden rod again. Oh, thank you, Helen. Hmm. Lighten this area just above the brow. Now the espresso, darken the shadow that the hair will cast on the face. And then the pumpkin orange over the espresso. So you get like a deeper, warmer brown. So you're basically mixing the colours on the page. So now to do the brow, I'm going to add the pumpkin orange at the bottom before we add the espresso. So the whole brow I'm just going to do in pumpkin orange. So just a flat color. Let me just turn it again. Oh, she's got orange browns. So now I'm going to add the brow. The, I'm first going to darken the bottom section of the brow. So before we add the texture, I'm darkening the bottom of the brow. And then I'm going to add the hairs by just drawing it in. Now I'm going to take my eggshell and just on the edge you need to highlight it because the light will catch it, some of the hairs. So you just need to highlight some of them right here on the edge. And you'll see as you highlight it, it will pick up some of the browns. highlighted the one too much. So now I'm taking the espresso again and just shape it again and draw in your 
eyebrow hairs. Until it's really dark. Now I'm going to move over to this section of the eye. So this upper lid, I'm going to take the golden rod and cover the whole lid. Now I'm going to take the pumpkin orange. I'm giving it a shadow underneath the brow. You can shape some more on the brow a little later. We first just get all the darkness and all the colors out, um, that we want onto the page before we do all the other details. Next is the espresso. So here I just want to extend or make it a little bit wider on this one. give a little bit fuller brow and here at the bottom slightly so you can shape it what, uh, however you want to Now with a light hand, I'm really darkening this part of the eyelid, or the, what do you call it, upper eye. Moving over to the eyelid, here, and in this section to shape it, so do you still get the eye shape? Then pumpkin orange. to blend all the espresso so that you get that warm brown then espresso again And then the pumpkin orange on the lid. Then 
in a little bit of eggshell. Then goldenrod. Thank you, Sonia. It's getting there. Then go slightly over your eggshell. Now the white part of the eye, we are going to do eggshell with a light hand. Now I'm covering that section that we've done with the espresso. Now I'm going to take pumpkin orange in the corner. And at the bottom of the eye. And then a golden rod. Go over this bottom section that we did with the eggshell. Then darken the rim with the espresso and then the pumpkin orange shade it down. Let me turn it like that that my hand's not in the way. And then with the espresso the top section you know the eyelid casts a shadow. So I just want to lightly add the shadow onto the eye. Oops. Then the eggshell again. Just go lightly over the espresso. And then just a little bit more highlight on that section. And then espresso in the corner of the eye again, more towards the bottom. And eggshell over the espresso. So it becomes almost like a brownie grey colour. Now I'm taking my golden rod and go over, over this bottom eyelid and then pumpkin orange in the corners. And darkening it with the pumpkin orange. And then espresso just to shape it
Now goldenrod again. And from this corner of the eye, I'm moving down with the shape. Pumpkin orange again. Accentuate the bag under the eye and shaping it to form the shape. And then also pumpkin orange a little bit here to make it a little bit darker. a little bit with a light hand over this section. Now go over everything with the golden rod here. Because we don't want it to be too prominent. And darken with golden rod more towards the nose. Now we're on to the nose part. Now I'm just with a light hand adding some espresso and here just to shape the nose then going over with goldenrod again Extending the golden rod over the eggshell. On towards the tip of the nose. I'm just going to soften this light area here with the pumpkin orange and also just a little bit more pumpkin orange on this part and on the nostril. Now move over to the shadow part of the nose, the bottom part that's more in shadow. Now the shadow around the nostril with the pumpkin orange. And then the cheekbone. So 
So you can see how the colors are changing as we are laying them over each other. Sometimes it's brighter, sometimes it's a little bit more browny. So now I'm going all the way to the nose with the pumpkin orange. Hi Kat, welcome. Thank you so much. So you'll see I'm doing it on either side of the espresso. Going with the pumpkin orange still. The mouth corner. Going around the nostril. Now the golden mud. Going over the eggshell. And onto the pumpkin orange on this section. and over the whole shadow area of the bottom half of the cheek. Okay, now I'm back to the pumpkin orange again to get some of the warmth back. Must I say the brownie tones back because she looks very yellowy, like she's got jaundice, but we'll get her right now. She will get her brownie tones just now. A little bit more golden rod. Oh, 
On this section, I used medium to heavy pressure. Now I'm back to light pressure again. Melanie, um, I don't. I only use uh, circular motions sometimes, uh, but in this one, I'm going different directions with the pencil, and not in circular motions. Because in big areas, it's easy to do it just straight across. And if you use um, a light pressure, then it is um, easy for your blending to go just in directions instead of in circles. Pumpkin orange again. Golden rod again. So we're building up layers now. And this is medium pressure on the golden rod because we're filling up the gaps. So I'm slowly building up this shadow area. until she smooths out. Now the espresso again. And I'm holding my pencil a little bit further back to make sure that it is a light pressure at the moment. And this is the pumpkin orange again. And I'm also just adding a little bit of pumpkin orange here at the bottom. Now the golden rod. Now moving the golden rod over to this section. And then also on the upper lip. And 
Next, this is espresso. Now we're just getting a shadow shape in the correct place. And then this bottom section we need to darken. Now the pumpkin orange again, here by the nose, and then this shadow. Now we're shaping, this is a shape shadow to shape the face. And here at the bottom. the mouth corner now the golden rod again Now this is medium pressure. Now I'm moving towards the bottom of the lip and add in that shadow with the golden rod first. And now the chin. Let me just move it up a bit. Thank you, Melanie. Now this is the pumpkin orange again. Then the espresso. Hi, Mavie. Mavie. Yes, you can. You can watch it back. It stays on the channel. And thank you so much. So slightly in the mouth corner. Then the pumpkin orange again. And soften it.
then extend the mouth corner shape towards the shadow of the chin thank you maybe now the golden rod again and first cover the whole chin and the pumpkin orange I'm going to take the eggshell and lighten it. And this is medium pressure. And leave a slight edge of the darker color. You've got the really light rim then a little dark edge and then we lighten this chin area to do the shape shadow Now I'm taking the golden rod again and just blend the eggshell to form the shape. Now I'm going to do the upper lip with the golden rod. Melanie, yes. I've got a dark skin tutorial on the channel. If you press on videos, then you can, uh, then all the videos will come up and there is a dark skin tutorial. I will be doing some more dark skins um, as well. But there is a dark skin tutorial. Yeah, there's an Indian skin and a dark skin one. Yes, it's on this uh, YouTube channel. You just press videos and then all the previous older videos will come up and you will be able to see it. This is the pumpkin orange again. And you just blend it into this area. And then And then take the eggshell and blend it onto the upper lip. And then the golden rod. And do the shadow of the upper lip. You're welcome, Melon. Then the pumpkin orange. And 
and then eggshell again. Now we can highlight the cheekbone again with the eggshell. Just slightly. pumpkin orange now I can do the lips the lips I'm gonna take Scarlet Lake PC923 and I'm first just going to do a shape with red and it's almost like a, a triangular shape now I'm gonna take my espresso And her mouth is slightly open, so I'm taking the espresso right to the mouth corner and then shade it in a bit. Then the little gap. Bye bye, Rhea. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Now it's the pumpkin orange. And I'm filling in around the red. And onto the edge. And then a little bit of golden rod. Now I'm going to the bottom lip. And in the middle, I'm going dark right towards the edge. Then right next to the espresso, go around the bottom, thank you Robin, good morning Robin. And extend it slightly. My patrons will know about the two circles that forms highlights. Next is the pumpkin orange. And then the golden rod right on the edge. And soften. And 
and then the eggshell. On the edge of the lip. And then the red again. Um, Sherry, yes, this, these turns is the five pencil challenge. It works in the sunset setting. So that's why I've chosen the sunset as the background. So then you can get away with these turns for skin. Melanie, it's not um, necessary. Um, you'll see that I keep on turning my pencil. Um, it's just my way of keeping the tips fairly sharp. So you don't need to sharpen them all the time. So as you draw, you just keep on doing. And I've, I've been doing um, the whole image really with these ones and not sharpen them in between. And they're still fairly sharp at the tip. They don't look like it, but there is a bit of a tip as you turn them. So and that's the lips. Let me just shape this shadow, sorry. Yes, uh, some colorists prefer the, the tips to be sharp. Um, I, I, for example, for eyelashes and things, you need a sharp tip. But if you keep on turning your pencil while colouring, then you don't need to sharpen them so much all the time. So I'm off the page. Sorry. And this is the eggshell. I'm just blending some of the highlights. And I'm softening this bottom highlight. Bye-bye, Sonia. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Now we just do the neck. Pumpkin orange. Golden rod. Espresso. Pumpkin orange again.
golden rod. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Eggshell. Golden rod. And now we can just do eggshell on this section. The top of this eyebrow will be very light. Then the espresso. Now we just do a little bit of details. The espresso. Golden rod. Eggshell. Whoopsie, pumpkin orange. The espresso. Pumpkin orange. Golden rod. The eggshell. Oh, thank you, Kat. Now we can add some eyelashes to give more definition to the eyes. Just pumpkin orange and make this a little bit darker here. And this section here. Then eggshell for the little light sections on the eye. And then 
after you've colored your background, then you must add your eyelashes on this side. And the eyelash will be here. Hold on a second. Okay, so uh, I just want to blend this in a little bit. I think while I'm busy blending here, just a little bit with my eggshell, let's do a quick page giveaway. Let's do a guessing game. How many colors did I use in the lips? You must guess. So I'm just blending in all the colors that we've added. So is all the guesses in? <laughs> okay, how many pen pencils I would have used? That would have been correct. Okay, so it's all the guesses in.
says all the gears is in. <laughs> yes, get you all quite right. I could easy, <laughs> easily have used 50 pencils. Okay, so it's all the guesses in. And the answer is... How many pencils did I use on a on her lips? That was the question. Okay, so is all the answers in? Thank you so much. Okay, so the answer is, if you remember correctly, there's eggshell on the edge, so that's one. There's pumpkin orange. Golden rod, red, and espresso. So everybody who said five are correct. So how many winners is there?
Oh, I'm so glad. And thank you so much, um, 64. I hope to see you at all the streams. Now it's a soul. Uh, Della has also has got a five. Cat has a five. Paula. Paula. Cat. And Della. And Rain. And rain. You can um, PM me or um, email me. You can all choose a page from my Etsy store. So congratulations to all of you. And I hope to see some interesting skin tones. And please come and join um, the Color My Dreams Facebook group in the event with the limited palette um, coloring challenge. Would love to see um, all of your images. Thank you, Mom, for being my mod. Thank you to each and every one that came out to, to watch the stream. I really appreciate it. And uh, I think I will do a poll and see what uh, the tutorials will be like um, next. In, I hope to see you all next week. I will um, do something different. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Janine. So glad you stayed awake. Thank you, Melanie. Bye-bye, everyone. See you all next week. Thank you, Della. Thank you, Helen. Bye-bye, everyone.